Okay, so the way we're going to start off is with points, lines, and planes, and we should have already defined these terms. Um, that was the homework the other day, um, but I always think it's good to have symbols as well as pictures to go with our definitions. So if we don't have those, uh, we need to add these to our definitions, okay? So if you have your definitions out, that's great. Let's go ahead and get started. If not, I'd suggest stopping the tape, pulling them out so that you can add these to your definitions. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, line. Um, sim the symbol that we use for line is we always define a line with two points. Okay, so as you can see in my picture here, we have a line and we have the points A and B. So we're going to define this line as line AB. And we use this symbol here, basically a line with two arrows, one on each end, and that's the way we say line AB. Okay. Doesn't, we can also call it line BA. It's very clear that we're still talking about this line. So the order of the letters doesn't matter. But what does matter is that your symbol must have that line with the two arrows on it. Okay? We also have plane. Plane ABC. So plane we always define with three points. Okay? And it's best if the points are not collinear. Okay? So we can also define plane with just one letter, and usually the book that we use, they use an uppercase letter, okay? And it's usually in bold, so it stands out from the rest of them. Um, but you're also gonna notice that this letter doesn't have a point next to it, okay? So it's not a point, it's trying to say, this is the plane. And my drawing here isn't the best, but I'm trying to say that this is a plane. And a plane, again, remember, goes on in every direction. It's just nice and flat, okay? So if you look at my plane here, I have points A, E, C, and B, okay? And I called it plane A, B, C because I have three points here and they are non-collinear, okay? They do not lie on the same line like A, E, and C. I wouldn't want to call this plane A, E, C because that's a line and it would be kind of confusing if we used collinear points to define a line, okay? That's why we use three points is so that we can choose three non-collinear points to define a plane, okay? I also drew dia here. And the reason I drew dia here is because it's outside of the plane. So I wanted to give you an idea of what the diagrams kind of look like. They might ask you, is there a point that lies outside of the plane? And in this case, yes, the point would be point D, okay? Line segment, okay? Now line segment looks very similar to line, except you notice that the line segment does not have two arrows on the end. And that's because the line segment ends. It has two end points, okay? and it's always the points that you name the line by. So in this point, in this case, we have line segment AB because A is where one endpoint is and B is where the other endpoint is. Again, we could call this line segment BA if we wanted to, but they have to be on the ends. If I had a point in the middle that was point C, I couldn't call this line segment CB or CA because we want to talk about these two endpoints, which are A and B, okay? We also have ray. Now, ray, we identify with a line with one arrow, and that's because a ray is just like a ray of light, okay? It has a starting point or an end point, and it goes in one direction. It goes in one direction forever, okay? And we always, always have to start our rays with our endpoints. So this ray right here, we call ray A, B, because it starts at A, and it goes in the direction of B, and it just keeps going on and on forever, okay? This ray right here, we would also call ray A, B, because again, the ray starts here at A, and goes in the direction of B, and keeps going on and on forever. We wouldn't want to call either of these rays B, A, so in that case, it's different from the line, okay? But you can see why it's different from the line, okay? So again, ray A, B, always start at the end point and then go in the direction of the ray. We also have intersecting lines. Okay, intersecting lines, all you need to know is that whenever you have two lines that intersect, they always intersect at a point, okay? And that should be clearly defined. So in this case, they intersect at point A. And then here we have intersecting planes. Now intersecting planes, like I said, a plane is something that's flat and it goes on and forever in all directions. If we have two of them that intersect, you can imagine my two hands being two planes, one going up, one going down, just like the picture. They intersect at a line, okay? Or the, their intersection forms a line. 
because it just goes on and on forever in both directions. Okay? And that is our symbols for points, lines, and planes.